Yeah, this is probably the story in the closing weeks of the campaign. Kathy Barnett has emerged in a lot of the polls uh, in a statistical dead heat with McCormick and, and Oz. Uh, part of that is that over the last three months, McCormick and Oz have gone after each other in, with extensive ad campaigns that have really attacked uh, their weaknesses. Oz is a Hollywood liberal. Uh, McCormick is a hedge fund manager who's had relations with China. Uh, those ads have been omnipresent, and I think it's brought down their standing and opened a door for an alternative. And, and Barnett, uh, she's a fixture in, in conservative uh, media uh, circles. We've watched over the last few weeks, you know, President Trump's endorsements uh, are testing his place in, you know, Republican politics right now, and the record has been mixed. Uh, he went out, I, I would say, on a limb with Mehmet Oz. You know, Oz is, is you know, he's a celebrity, but he's not necessarily an easy slam dunk fit in Pennsylvania. Uh, so it's going to be a, an interesting test of the president's uh, poll within the party. I, I, I do believe he sent Oz a lifeline that if he didn't have Trump's blessing, uh, his standing in the race would be much less than it is right now. Will it be enough? Uh, and if, if he does pull through, you can imagine this will be a crown jewel in Trump's endorsements. If he fails, it will be a, a pretty high profile failure.